Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at how to draw a biohazard icon inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we want to do is draw a circle. So go to the ellipse tool and hold down the shift key while drawing a circle. Then go to transform and make sure constraint proportions is enabled. Then type in 100 pixels. You can use another unit if you want like millimeters or inches. Just make sure to keep my measurements and use the same unit all the way through this tutorial. I recommend to use pixels. So type in 100 pixels. This one will correct itself because of the constraint proportions and click OK. Now zoom into the circle. And while having the circle selected, choose the stroke and disable the stroke. Then for the fill, choose a color. I will choose black. The color for now doesn't matter. While still having this circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now we have two circles on top of each other. So with the top circle selected, go to transform and make this circle 75 pixels. Choose another color for this one. Now go to the line tool and find the middle of the two circles with this guide right here. And from here, hold down the shift key and draw a straight line. Then go to transform and make the height of this line 94 pixels. For the stroke width, type in 5 pixels. Give this stroke another color. Then select all the shapes. Go to horizontal align center. Just to make sure everything is aligned center, it should be already. After that, go to vertical align top to make everything snap to the top right here. Now select the ellipse tool again and go down to this anchor point right here. And from here, hold down the alt key and the shift key and draw a circle. Select a fill instead of a stroke. Go to transform and make this circle 25 pixels. Now, while still having this circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. Now we once again have a circle on top of the other circle. And with the top circle selected, go to transform and make this circle 94 pixels. And select a stroke instead of a fill. Then go to the stroke menu and select align stroke to inside. And for the width, select 12 pixels. Then go to object and expand appearance. This will turn the stroke into a shape. Now select this circle right here and with the arrow keys notch it up one time. And while still having the circle selected, go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again and paste in front. And once again, we have a circle on top of the other one. With the top circle selected, go to transform and make this circle 65 pixels. Then while having this circle selected, hold down the shift key and select this circle. Then go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to subtract and subtract this part of the circle. Then go to your selection tool and deselect everything and select this circle right here. You can just delete this one. This will leave behind this shape right here. Now select this circle and while holding down the shift key, also select this circle Go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key to subtract, delete this part right here. Then go to the selection tool and select this small circle right here. Then right click with your mouse, go to arrange and go to bring to front. This will make sure that nothing overlaps this circle when we copy the shapes in a moment. Now select all the shapes except for the small circle. Then go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key, go to the middle of this circle where this path ends and while still holding down the alt key, click with your mouse key. Then type in 120 degrees and click copy. And to duplicate this step, simply just click Ctrl D. Now go to the selection tool and select all these big circles. Then go to the pathfinder menu. If it isn't open, you can go to window and choose pathfinder right here. Then go down to this button and click unite. After that, select all the strokes, then go to Object, go to Expand, make sure Fill and Stroke is selected and click OK. As before, this turns the strokes into a shape. 
and we can use these shapes to crop other shapes. So now, while still having these three strokes selected, go to the Unite button again, then hold down the Shift key and add this circle. And once again, go to the Unite button. Now this entire shape is only one shape. So now, hold down the Shift key and add this shape, then go down to Pathfinder and select Minus Front. This cuts out these small holes. Now simply select the entire artwork and select the color that you want for your artwork. 